Hey there, listeners. It's your Annoyingly Optimistic host here, bringing you another season of the Annoyingly Optimistic show. Welcome to season two, voicemails to Tim. Now, let's meet Tim. He's been running his own small business for almost three years now. And let's just say he's hit a bit of a rough patch. You know how it is. Sometimes you get so stuck, you make yourself busy and just avoid finding the real problems. Well, that's Tim. So as a good friend, I decide to leave him a daily voicemail, if I can't get hold of him, filled with nuggets of inspiration, insight and wisdom and downright brilliant ideas to help get him unstuck. Every day, in just under 10 minutes, I'll share some tips, tricks and a healthy dose of optimism to get Tim, and maybe even you, back on track. Because let's face it, we're all a little tired, in need of help and muddling through. So here we go. Re- oh wait, never mind. Tim's being busy. Here's the voicemail I left him today. Hi Tim, sorry I missed you again. Uh, just a... Uh... A, a, a quick thought. It's something I was glad, glad we actually got to catch up yesterday. Um, obviously, do a bit of work on your website, and it was that question. And I know it was half half was kind of a joke, but where you said kind of how do I find some of the stu- some of the stuff so easy, particularly when we were going through some of the sections on the website and getting the the kind of the word and the pitch and stuff like that. Um, a, it's doing it a lot, but B, one of the things that, that's very very hard when we're working on our own business is you know the, these phrases can't see the wood for the trees getting lost in the weeds and, and, and things like that is that we are so close to it we are so wrapped up in it so emotionally connected to it we've got all the pressures that come with it in terms of this is our livelihood this is the thing that we do to make money um, this is the thing that we pay the mortgage feed ourselves and everything else that you've got to all those things kind of going through and then you're trying to do something that's both objective and subjective. You need to know your product, know what you're doing, know your audience, know what you're trying to say, but that can get lost. And that's really what was coming up yesterday. You know, you know your stuff and you're so passionate about it and it's it's so fun to to chat to you and, and hear your ideas and, and that passion. And that's the thing that, that drives me as well because you've got something amazing you've got that passion we've just got to get that out to the world and so when we were going through those bits I'm able to kind of take a step back because I don't have all those um, pressures that you'll bring into that all all those specifics about your business I'm able to look at it from the outside looking in and that gives you that degree of separation that I know what we're trying to trying to say and achieve and I can kind of cut through that quickly. I mean, that's in essence um, have, having someone to chat to, a, a coach or something like that, that. That's where that comes in handy. But that's what you were feeling yesterday in terms of I know you'd spent a, a load of hours going through those bits and we kind of talked. And I know there was a, a when we were chatting, there was a bit that you got kind of a little bit despondent because you felt that all those hours you'd done had been wasted. But again, trying to bring you to, to bring that kind of step back and see what was happening. All the hours you'd put in that and getting that kind of passion and getting that, I can't do those bits. Um, no one else can do those bits because that is your core, that's your passion, that's your driver. You need to get that out in your language, your words, your style, and really kind of get that down. What I was then able to do is take all that work. Had you not done all that work and gone through that process, I know we then went through another process on top of that, but had you not done that, it would have been very difficult for me to then kind of go through and pull out the bits that we did because they, they, you know, they were the raw materials. You did the mining, for want of a better way of doing it. We then did the, re- the refining and turning it into to something else. And that's that's the other thing. It's And I know I talk about this. It, it is a process. Um, it's very difficult to get from A to Z in one go. Um, you know, And so each step is a, is a process. The more you do it, it's a process. But it's 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 recognizing that process, not getting overly frustrated about it and knowing that, OK, I've done my bit here and now we apply something else. And there might be some iterations and some refinement, but we step by step, we get closer and closer. I mean, look what we created yesterday. There was some absolutely fantastic things that, that came out of that. We with Those two descriptions that we wrote that we didn't have coming into that. You had the raw materials and that's what gave us the foundation to do that. And so that's what you've got to look at it. You've got to look at it as a process and that all that work that you put in is is worth it. And that's why I would say using things like Notion, using things like Google Docs and using ChatGPT. And I know we've, we're going to have a bigger chat about ChatGPT at some point. Um, but using that to help you iterate and, and track and track and track. And you know when we've gone through some bits and I've sent some bits over to you. 
I will send you six or seven different chat GPT chats with huge great prompts. I will send you two or three Google Docs or a link to a Notion document with various bits in because I keep everything on that process because that one little idea that then, you know, develops and brings up various other things and various other ideas. Often it's that seed that we come back to um, and it's being able to see the end point and the beginning point and that, and that creates something brilliant. And that's what we, exactly what we did yesterday. You know, we had some key words in there. And when we went back through those three lines that we'd created, um, that kind of one line of description which we're aiming for, every single word in that was absolutely spot on you know because we were crafting down to the individual word and you can't do that unless you've got those raw materials so don't get despondent if you feel that and and, and pl- never feel that your time is wasted on that um all those documents that we've got that you've created and all those words there's some there's some other stuff that I've highlighted on the version that I've got here which it, I absolutely know we will be using and we'll be coming back to. And remember, you always need versions of things. You know, I'm always talking about title, tagline, short description, long description, full description, um, you know, call to action, these kind of things. You need those raw materials to create these key little elements. And you need that full, verbose, long, detailed version in order to be able to pull out the others. And it's one of the things that really kind of struck me. And I know I said it to you yesterday, but I want to emphasize it again today is that, and obviously with writing the book and, and training people and coaching them and, and things like that, and I can't remember who said this, as with most of the things, that should be my tagline. Um, someone said something great, but I can't remember who it was. But it's this idea that in order to teach something, in order to explain something to someone, you have to know it you know, inside out, backwards, inside out, whatever the, you know, in, from a hundred different directions in order proper, to properly explain that. What we were doing yesterday was baking down what you do and your passion, your drive into the fewest number of words possible, into the most concise of sentences of elevator pitch, whatever you want to call it, so that you can say that to someone and get them enthused and passionate. And the only way we can bake that down to such a small thing is by doing all the hard work, by understanding it, doing the long form stuff, the long descriptions, the the big meandering things that you're not sure where you're going with it, because that gets those ideas out there and we then refine and refine and refine. So, yeah, it's not a case of I've got some kind of magic wand. It's a, a it's that degree of separation which I've got. And, uh, you know, but B, it's you, you were providing the raw materials. Now, it's much, much easier to have someone like we were doing yesterday bouncing ideas off when you've got the raw materials to create something as opposed to try and iterate on yourself because, again, you just get further and further stuck and, and kind of wound up. So hopefully you're, you're enthused and you look back at those, what we created yesterday um, and you're like, yeah, this was great because it genuinely was. I'm excited to see um, what comes next. I just thought I'd, I'd try and catch up with you on that, but um, I shall speak to you again soon. Cheers, Tim. And that's it for today episode of voicemails to tim on the annoyingly optimistic show now remember tim might be busy but we're all in this together whether you're tired in need of help or just muddling through tim is here for you because well tim is you yes you heard that right tim isn't just my friend he's a reflection of all of us who are struggling to make it work t-i-m stands for tired in need of help and muddling through so if you're feeling like a tim you're not alone For all those ambitious listeners, if you've got a burning business question, a quirky thought, or just want to see if you can leave an even weirder voicemail, head over to the website voicemailstotim.com, submit your question, and maybe, just maybe, you'll hear your idea in a future voicemail to Tim. So until then, stay annoyingly optimistic, keep pushing forward, and remember, if life gives you lemons, leave a voicemail about it.